I just saw the latest film in the DCEU, The Suicide Squad, and I really liked it. When this movie was first announced, I had really high hopes for it. I heard that James Gunn, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy, would be directing it, so I was expecting some really good things, and it really lived up to those expectations. The Suicide Squad seems to be a step in the right direction for DC movies, and aims to clear up any bad blood created by the 2016 Suicide Squad. When talking about it, I think it's very important to draw comparisons between these two films, because it shows just how important it is to have people that are actually talented and passionate about a project to make a good movie. And I think it's clear to anyone who watches this movie that the James Gunn one is just better in almost every single way. The jokes are funnier, the dialogue is more interesting, and even the way the movie is shot just feels better. Because this is a James Gunn movie, it has this very unique style of humour, which is probably the best part of the film in my opinion. It's filled with a lot of jokes and visual gags that were all for the most part pretty funny. The characters' dialogue and banter with each other really fit the tone of the film and never really felt out of place or unnatural. Now, from what I can piece together, this film is a reboot of the 2016 Suicide Squad. A Warner Brother rep said that while there are references to the first movie, it really isn't fair to call it a follow-up or a sequel, because there really is no through line besides a few repeat characters. Which I think was possibly the best decision they could have made after the absolute train wreck that was the 2016 film. But let's talk about the plot. Spoilers ahead, so click away if you don't want to get spoiled. We open to a shot of Michael Rooker, who plays Savant, a prison inmate who has just joined a secret government task force in order to get time off his sentence. Him and his team have to break onto the island of Cordo Maltese, a country that has recently been overthrown and taken over by a new government. But the mission goes wrong. Their teammate, Pete Davison, had sold them out, so the government knew they were coming and set up an ambush, causing almost the entire team to get killed. But this was actually a bait, and we cut to another team on the island, who are actually the main cast of the film. This team is led by Bloodsport, played by Idris Elba. His character is basically what Will Smith's character was in the last movie, but actually good. He has a lot more personality and is a lot more likeable than Will Smith. Here is where we find out the main plot of the film. It turns out years ago the US government was using this island to conduct research on this starfish thing in order to try and make bioweapons. But now that the island has been taken over, the US government wants any proof of their involvement gone. So this team has to meet up with a scientist in order to break into the labs and destroy everything. The plot of the movie is probably the worst part in my opinion. It is kind of boring and there really isn't anything special or groundbreaking plot wise. It was just okay, but the thing that made it better was the characters. This movie has a very talented cast of actors that hold the film together really well. We have John Cena as Peacemaker, Margot Robbie playing Harley Quinn, Sylvester Stallone as King Shark, and Idris Elba as Bloodsport. All of them play their characters really well and are very believable, making them a lot more likeable than the cast of characters in the original Suicide Squad. Wall is yelling a lot more, the characters have a lot more fun and witty banter, making it feel like there was just a lot more commitment put in for them. Pete Davison, someone who was only in the film for 10 minutes was killed just for a gag, and I love it. The Suicide Squad was a really fun movie, and I really enjoyed it. It's a step in the right direction, and if DC keeps making films like this in Shazam, I see a really bright future for them, and I hope it sticks that way. But with that, I'm going to rate The Suicide Squad a 8 out of 10. Goodbye.